I started the dryer. I have my French press going and it's gonna be a beautiful morning. I fell asleep at like, I wanna say 8.30 p.m. I laid down, I had some peanut butter and honey and jelly and chocolate pudding I put in a bowl and put in the freezer and was gonna let it freeze a couple hours like ice cream. It was about 30 minutes in the freezer. I laid down knowing I still had an hour left and I was gonna stay up to like 10, but I fell asleep at 8.30 p.m. And I woke up at 6 a.m. and I feel amazing. I got more sleep than I needed on accident, but that means I needed it. Ah, oh, Starfire, and I'm even more excited. These two yahoos stayed out all night like wild child. You didn't lose your collar today. I still need to find Moonbeam's collar somewhere out here. But he has a chip, so he's okay, and he stays close to the house. But, oh, I love these two. They have really changed my world. Um, since I've had them after January, my life is happier with two cats for sure. They really are good for boosting your morale and considering it was just me and my dad and my dad is a little bit where he still take, I mean, he mostly takes care of himself. He feeds himself, he bathes, I'm grateful. He drives, he pays his insurance, he pays his medical bills. He told me he was going to the doctor, goes for blood tests, he didn't give me his medical information details from the doctor, but in the power of Texas, he has his own power. In the state of Texas, he has his own power of attorney. So if he's in his right mind, which he is, I don't want that anyway. He can make his own decisions. He's a big boy. He's 78 years old. and But I'm glad that I'm here for him. And it makes it easier with the cats to where I am a single man. I don't have kids. Lots of people get their love and affection through a relationship, through a partner. I'm 38, almost 39, but I'm allowed to be single. And my two cats help give me the love I need and I get to take care of them. So they also help me take better care of myself because I'm gonna feed my cats before I feed myself. So when I feed them breakfast, it reminds me, you should probably eat breakfast too. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. We're halfway through the week, we're closer to Friday. And I'm kind of excited. Yesterday my boss told me, asked me to switch schedules. So now I close instead of almost opening. So I got to sleep in. I'm gonna do some video editing this morning. I'm about to drink my coffee, waiting in the French press, and it's gonna be a good day. I hope you have a good day, whatever you do. And just know I love you, but God loves you more. And have a great Wednesday. Happy hump day. I love you. God loves you more.